Hi, this is Sarah from Sarah Clips and Loops and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can embroider these cute little eyes on all of your amigurumis. Before we start, let's go through the materials that you will need. First off, you will need a sport weight, fine black yarn. I use a cotton yarn. Second, you'll need a white cotton DK yarn. Third, you'll need a black embroidery thread. You will also need a couple of pins to mark out the position of your eyes, a tapestry needle and some scissors. For this tutorial, I'm using my elephant pattern. The elephant's eyes are positioned over rounds 19 and 20. I've already placed the first two pins. All you need to do is simply count from the top down to row 19 and place your first pin. Place the second pin directly two rows below it. For the second die, you need to count from the top first pin 13 stitches across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And place your first pin. Place the second pin directly below it two rows down, as you did with the first eye. Double check that they're in the right position and they are on the same row. This completes the positioning of your eyes. Next, we're going to make the main section of the eye in black using the sport weight yarn. Thread a length onto a tapestry needle and insert the needle into the side of the head or at the bottom or in a position wherever you prefer. I prefer to use the side of the head. Bring the needle out at the first pin. Pull the thread through and leave a tail. This will be used to secure your yarn later. Make the stitch going through to the second pin and back through to the starting position. This completes the first stitch. Repeat this stitch four more times. Once you've reached the desired thickness, repeat the process for the second eye. Just take the needle back through and bring it over to the second eye. And repeat a stitch five times as before. Once you are happy with the thickness of the eyes, Take the needle back through the head and out to the position in which you started. You can make any minor adjustments with the tip of your needle on either side, especially if you feel that the stitches are a little bit too tight, you can just push the needle underneath and bring them up a little bit. Leave the tails until later. We'll secure those once we're completely happy with the final look. For the third part, we are going to make the whites of the eyes and the little white fleck. To do this, we'll need white cotton DK yarn. Thread a length onto a tapestry needle. Insert the needle into the side of the head and bring the yarn out at the bottom centre of the eye. As before, leave a tail so we can secure the yarn tails later. The white of the eye sits at the side of the eye and we take the yarn just into the side of the black, not to the top centre but just to the side. Take the needle in and bring it out to the second eye at the bottom center. Be sure to guide your yarn as you're pulling it through 
to ensure it sits to one side. And repeat the second eye. Again, going into the side of the eye and not to the top center. You're then going to aim the needle to come out at the top center of the first eye. It can be a little bit tricky. Okay, if you're finding it difficult to pull your yarn needle through, depending on your tension, you can use some jewelry pliers and gently give the needle a tug. Now we'll make the white fleck of the eye. And to do this, you'll need to insert the needle right into the center of the eye. And bring it out on the second eye at the top center. Again, you can use your pliers to pull that needle through if it's a little bit tough. This will give you your little white fleck of your eye. Repeat the process for the second eye. And take the needle out over to the side of the head in which you started. If you can't quite make it to the stitch, if your needle's too short, you can come out at another stitch Pull the needle out, insert it back into the same hole and come back out to the original hole that we started. Use the tip of your needle to close the gap. And again, if you need to make any adjustments, use the tip of your needle just to adjust the stitches to make sure that they match. We're now going to make the final part of the eye, the eye line and the eyelash. I prefer to mark out the position on either side to make sure that they're matching. To make the eye line and the eyelash, you'll need to use the embroidery thread. Take a length and thread it onto a tapestry needle and insert it into the side of the head. Bring the needle out at the first pin. Again, leave a tail so you can use it to secure the threads later. Take the thread into the second pin. And back out where you started, as we'll make this stitch a double stitch for thickness. Then you're going to insert your needle and bring it out to the third pin for the eyelash. Then you want to take the thread into the side of the white of the eye and just underneath the eye line and take it out onto the other side where your first mark pin is.
the thread will naturally pull up the eye line to give it a nice shape. Repeat on the other side. Once you've finished your second eye and you're happy with all the positioning, you can then go and secure all of your tails. To do this, go by each one that you've used, simply make a knot Snip the edges off and use a needle to just gently pull the thread through into the head. And repeat this for these other two threads. Once you have secured all of the tails and hidden them inside of the head, your eyes are now complete. Just look how cute they are. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today because I certainly did. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.